Hello, I'm the Body Smith. I'm up in the Southwest Hills of Portland at the Capretti Luber residence, ready to give you a muscle endurance workout. So let's all breathe in, exhale out. You gotta watch me though, breathe in, exhale out, roll the shoulders back. Because, as you can see, there's a pool right next to me. If I fall in, will somebody pull me out? All right, four, three, two, push it up. Four more, we're gonna go side to side. Let's go, push. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a little bit of a slope where I am. So I'm being kind of careful. <laughs> All right, reach across, shoulder level. We'll just limber up first before we get to the heavy work. I should say though, I am my own GPS and I got lost. I ended up coming kind of this way three times before I found the house. Four more. And push it down. Keep those elbows coming up. Now Barbara, the lady of the house, has a lot of dahlias. You can probably see some of them in the background and in the foreground. And she hybridizes new varieties. Really nice ones. Let's bend the knees. Side, side. Good, give it four more. Now, reach it up, one arm, reach and pull. Four more. Let's go to the other side. Reach over, pull down. At least we got a nice sunny day to do this one. Four more, two more. Okay, now sweep it back. Remember to pull in the abdominal area. We're working the core here. Keep going, push. This is kind of like, remember when people had those heavy drapes? I don't know if they do anymore. But you'd have to reach across and use all your strength and your core strength to get those drapes open. Now, bicep curl. This is one of my favorite songs for weightlifting. Stronger. Four, three, two. So let's get those weights. All right, we're just using um, light to medium weights today. Let's start by pressing the heel to the front. Ready? Heel to the front. Get a little bit of light cardio action going here. Bicep curls, hammers. Two up, two down. Actually, if you count correctly, it's four, three, two up. Four, three, two down. Two more. And last one. Hold it right here. Put your feet together. Push down. Pull up. You're going to use your upper back muscles. Oh, we've got a breeze coming. That feels great. I just hope that it doesn't make the audio fuzzy. Keep going. Four more. All right, let's go into the shoulders. Reach it out. Wide extension, lateral raises. The beauty about this type of a workout that we're doing today, you don't have to be coordinated to do it and get benefit from it. One more, we're going to repeat the, set, the segment here. Bicep curls. Repeat that sequence. Remember to keep the elbows pulled in tightly. Right along the side. 
and do not forget to breathe. Big deep breaths. What's next? Reach down, pull up, put a squat, pull. This is kind of like you've got, let's say a hundred dollar bill pressed between your shoulder blades and you don't want it to fall out and fall into the pool. So you gotta keep it tight. Three more, two, lateral raises. Stand up, out to the side. This worked out really well. At least I'm getting a workout today. I hope you're doing it with me. Because I did I got so busy I didn't have a chance to do a real workout for myself today. Let's give it one more. Alright, pull it right here. Now we're gonna take the legs apart, kind of a plie position with the toes out, and bend at the knees, squat down. Bring it up. You wanna keep your knees more or less over the ankles and that makes it a lot safer for your knees and for your hips. Good, one more. Now let's keep that squat going this time. Reach up to the front. Oh. Still working the shoulders. I really like the words to this way. You can't get much stronger. Two more. And let's do some more work on that upper back. Turn to the side. We're going to push down, pull back. I call this the lawnmower starter. Reach down, grab that handle attached to the cord, and pull strong. You want to start that mower in one pull. I messed up my mower uh, earlier this year, but believe it or not, I fixed it. One down, three back. Down, pull, two, three. I am not known to be the world's best mechanic, or even, how many are there in the world? What is it, something like seven billion people? I am about the five billion, two hundred, eighty-five million best mechanic in the world, normally. Let's push it back, tricep, kick back, shoulders, relax. Very important not to stretch, the sh uh, to stress the shoulders or the elbow. So you just want to maintain the upper arm in that position and bend at the elbow. Big circles back. Well, we're not going to worry too much about timing this exactly to the phrase of the music because we want to do it correctly and comfortably. You don't want to hurt yourself. This is a great exercise for the upper back, the shoulders, especially the medial and rear deltoids. One more. All right, let's turn to the other side. Get ready. Go. Push, pull. I'm getting warm. Should I jump in the pool? That would be a first. I've been working this program since 1986, and I've never done a pool workout yet. Maybe that's next. Get ready to change tempo. One down, three back. Good. Three, two, one. I better look out, I'm kind of loud, see if we disturb the neighbors, see if anybody's looking over the hedge at us. <laughs> We've got two more like this, 
down. You gotta hold it back there. Get ready for the triceps. Get back. Press. It's hard, it's hard. It's hard, as Brianna says. The hardest thing is just remembering the correct form on this one and not getting carried away. Just a few more. And then we're going to get ready to circle back. Ready? Go. Up. And back. Actually, the hardest thing for me to do is remember to engage my abdominal muscles. I've got a six pack under there somewhere. I know I do. Last one. Let's put one weight down. So let's start working on the core. I need to work on my six pack here. So you got the weight in front, you're going to turn to the side here. You're bending the knees so the hips do not move at all. And as you go side to side, and you have your abdominals engaged, you are likely to feel the action there in the obliques, along the side especially. Yes, you can do abdominal work without getting on the ground and doing crunches. Let's take it low to high. Up. We're still keeping it slow, controlled, and methodical. Here's an option. If you want to lift that leg and extend, you can also work on the balance and the supporting muscles surrounding the hip joints. This is not necessary, this is extra credit. One more time before I go careening off into the pool. Now the other side. And up. We'll just get it started without the lift. Getting used to it. Go, extend it out. I always seem to want to rush this one, but you can't rush it if you want it to work properly. Two more times here. And I think we're ready after this one for the wood chopper. So you still got that one weight. Legs apart, and you're going to put it about eyebrow level, and then I teach senior citizen classes, so I have to be careful how I phrase things. If I say hair level, the men say now or 30 years ago. If I say chest level, some of the women say now or 30 years ago. Okay, let's pick it up. Good. Can you see from the side? I'm squatting back, sitting back, pushing my hips back. Now how about up to one side? And press. And you have the option once again, extending that leg out. I'm feeling some core strength happening here. Which is exactly the way I want it. This is a great song too for weightlifting. Hold it. Now, yeah, big circle overhead. Again, we are working the core, as well as the shoulders and various other things. I feel it. Now, 
Now, the other side. Opposite direction. Little did you know, Barbara, the homeowner, is off in the shadows doing the workout with me. She said she used to do them on VHS tape. Now, switch sides, alternate. And she showed me she still has the VHS tapes, but no VCR. There's bound to be a VCR at a thrift show, a thrift store. <laughs> Believe it or not, I still have one that kind of works. And I use it sometimes. Okay, just call me the dinosaur. Let's take that weight around the thread. Circle, stir, stir. Oh, my shoulders are feeling this. Other direction, go. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Stirring that cauldron. Here we go, alternate. We don't have to rush through the alternating ones. It is time to pick up that other weight. We haven't done nearly enough bicep work or enough lower body. Let's do some regular biceps. This time, the elbows are in, the palms turning in toward the shoulders. Can you squat back as you do that one? I'll give you a side view. Uh oh, is that a helicopter right here over the head? Yep, there goes the helicopter. We're right really close to St. Vincent Medical Center. So they have life flight helicopters coming in all hours of the day and night. So you might hear a little background noise from the helicopters. Softened by the fountain back there, spraying out water that Dave and Barbara have. Three more. One more. All right. Turn to the side. I'm going to show you this one. It's a deadlift. So you're going to go down, keeping the shoulder blades pulled together. And you're bending at the knees and the hips somewhat. Mostly the hips. Oh, we've only got one more song to finish our workout. Now stay down there. Pull up right into the navel. Once again, you're squeezing the shoulder blades together so that $100 bill does not blow off into the pool. abdominals pulled in. Very important on this one when you have forward flexion. Last one. All right. Let's do a little more with one weight for the triceps. So you got that arm back here. Ready? You're going to get light it up and push and pull. I've got the elbow. I can see it out of the corner of my eye. And it's lined up directly with my shoulder and my hip and my knee. Now the reason I don't do two hands at once, if you have a tendency towards high blood pressure, it can really raise your blood pressure fast to do both hands overhead with this one. Change sides. Ready? Go. 
Take your time setting up. I just know I am racing a TV time limit. Coming up next, I have a small round thing and a larger round thing. Um, a lot of people like to do their core work on the stability ball. So we're going to play around with that a little bit right now. Let's put the weight down. So all you really have to do right here is, if you have a stability ball, great. If you don't, you can sit in the chair. But when you have the stability ball, it's helping you develop your balance and your core strength. So one way to do that, I'm going to pick up the little ball. And let me turn to the side here so you can see. So you're going to spread your feet apart, sit forward, and then just crunch. Contract the abdominal. Time, I'm going to rock it back a little more. So I'm rocking down, sitting back up. And the little or small ball that I have doesn't weigh, oh, I'm probably less than a pound. So it's not like you're getting a lot of weight work from using the ball, but it does help me maintain my form when I have something in my hands to concentrate on. want to, you can always slow it down and go deeper. My grandmother, after she'd had a series of strokes, went to a rehab facility in a hospital, and the way they taught her how to uh, gain strength in her core and be able to do more things on her own, started her out on a stability ball. Of course, somebody was right there with her but it made a huge difference. All right, I'm gonna put that little ball away. I'm gonna put the big one away where I won't trip on it. And we're gonna do some stretching. Okay, come forward here a little bit. So this is the time where you just be nice to yourself, where you can relax, take it easy, breathe in, exhale out. And hopefully you did the workout with me. This is your reward right here. Being able to relax and stretch. And now the other side. Stretch out some of those muscles in the core that we worked so hard. And breathe in. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. And roll the shoulders forward. Let's get some of the important ones out of the way first. Let's do a runner's lunge. I'm gonna to turn to the side. So you can see I have my knee directly over my ankle. The back leg is slid well back. So if, you, if your knee comes way far forward, just step back a little more. And then let your body weight press down through your hip flexors and your quadriceps and back into the calf and Achilles. And then take one arm forward and reach up. The reach up just kind of helps guide this stretch, makes it a little deeper for me. And come on down. Take, step about halfway in. Pull your toe up to a flex position. You're going to bend at the hip and the knee of the rear leg. So you're leaning forward, pulling the shoulders back, reach forward. And when I got lost on the way here three times, I got quite a tour of the Southwest Hills. It's really nice here. <laughs> and release, breathe in. Let's go to the other side. Same stretches. Runner's lunge. Lower down, reach up. All 
I swear I looked up the directions before I came, but unfortunately these days, I'm kind of a dinosaur. Bring it on back. I don't have anything with GPS. Now lean forward and reach straight out. Want to shake your hand? I'm my own GPS and that can be unfortunate <laughs> as it was today. It's okay though, I got here. I may have made the homeowners late for their lunch. All right, come on up. We're gonna stretch apart. One knee's over the ankle. Reach up and extend. Stretching the inner thigh down in through the groin. The other side, reach across. One of my favorite stretches. So let's work a bit more on that upper body. First of all, one arm up, touch toward the shoulder blade. You may guide the arm back if you need a little extra stretch. Shoulders through the triceps. And switch sides. I wish we had longer to hold these stretches. Now push forward. Open that upper back, pull those shoulder blades apart, now bring it back, push up, open the chest and shoulders, and breathe in, exhale, that's it for today, and thank you to the Caparati Kluber household for allowing us to be here today. We'll see you the next time on another Body Smith workout. Uh, I think I'm going to change and get ready to get into that pool.